I think as, for us, at least as the years pass, I think it becomes more and more important as kind of everyone else moves on for us to make sure that we have a lot of intent in remembering Justin and some of the other guys who fell with him. It's a visual aid to show um, that there have been sacrifices. Today we are making sure that we have a luminary display in honor of those that have fallen. No matter the way that they were killed, this field is for everyone who's fallen. This is the first time they did a candlelight visual the night before Gold Star Mother's Day. And I think it's very important that although we were given the honor of Gold Star Mother, we didn't earn that title. Our children earned that title. So it's important to light a candle to remember our children. Other mothers couldn't be here. So I've listed as many as I could of the other mothers that are far away. I put their children's name because it's it's not about me being a Gold Star mother. It's about my son who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And I, I think really symbolically it shows the families how much we care about their fallen heroes, the, the warriors who were a part of this team. Uh, and it, it shows them again every year that we do this that, that we'll never forget their service and their sacrifice. Our survivors, they are resilient, but that's the reason why SOS is in the business that we're in, is to provide those resources and those referrals to make sure our families never feel left alone. Out of the 468, there are more, close to a thousand that we actually serve. So it's not just combat-related injuries or KIAs that we're a support of. We support the whole Army. We support all of the fallen soldiers because they served. So every single one of them will feel special tonight when they come and realize that the Lights of Love is here to honor their service also. As we memorialize the many soldiers who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our nation, you are all here as a testament to the continuing influence those souls have had upon our lives, our families, our friends, and yes, here in our community. Their selfless service is an example for the rest of us to emulate. Their honor is humbling to us all. In our Gold Star Family events, we try to bring every survivor to a common location. A location allows us a connection not only to each other, but to the entire Fort Stewart community. We honor all fallen service members, regardless of branch of service, regardless of what patch they may have adorned on their uniform. And we bring them and remember them in these vigils, not just as those assigned to Fort Stewart, but everybody who has paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Go beyond the individuals in uniform and extend to the families and friends of these service members as you know all too well. The Survivor Outreach Services Program strives to assist the survivors of all of our heroes who have died in service to the nation or from wounds sustained while in service to our nation. This national program recognizes the commitment and increasing sacrifices that our military families make each and every day. Their goals have been absorbed into this community to provide survivor families with a strong, supportive environment. This Army-wide program was designed with family members in mind, intended to provide dedicated and comprehensive support to our survivors. These services are not time limited, rather they are provided to survivors for as long as they desire them. We have no greater or more noble responsibility to you than taking care of your family because you are actually our family. This is a great time for all the Gold Star Mothers to come together and support each other. No one understands what you're going through except another Gold Star Mother. One of the soldiers he served with when they were boarding the plane to leave on his second deployment asked him, if, if you knew you weren't going to make it home, would you still go? And Gene said, yes, because my soldiers depend on me. My brothers are counting on me and I'll always be there beside them. And if one of them falls, I'll be the one to bring them home. 
being able to go to Warrior's Walk and place items at his tree is wonderful because when we go to Arlington, we kiss a cold stone. But when we go to Warrior's Walk, there's life there. There's beauty there. There's new birth there. And it gives you hope and it fills your heart with love to see that although your son's life is over, things do go on. His son will continue. And when his son is older, I can bring him to Warrior's Walk and show him this tree, all these trees that are planted in honor of his father and all his fallen brothers and sisters. What I try to keep in mind when I'm working with a family member who's lost a soldier is that this person needs my support. Everybody that's currently in our SOS office here was either a military spouse, or actually we all were military spouses, as well as some of us were active duty at one point. So we understand the Army, we understand what it means to be part of the Army in multiple ways, and we just want to treat these family members the way that I would want to be treated if something had happened to my husband while he was on active duty. And as always, we'll keep in mind those fallen heroes to whom this service is dedicated, remembering their courage, their dedication, and their selfless service, which those of us in uniform today strive daily to remain worthy of their sacrifice.